Hey folks, welcome. Here's another uh, video podcast per request from the blog. I've been fortunate enough to be out in LA and, and photograph the wonderful Disney Concert Hall for the better part of a day. This is a Frank Geary um, architectural design that uh, he's famous for, and it's a wonderful building to photograph. Folks on the blog have been interested in how I'm doing uh, the mirroring technique, so I thought we'd do a quick uh, podcast about that. So essentially, to get started here, all we need to do is determine what the size is of this image. So I'm going to bring up our image size, and you'll notice that, I'm. by the way, I'm going to do this as a horizontal mirrored. I'm going to side by side. So I just need to double the, the width. So I note that it's 512. That means I'm going to need to make a new document where the width is uh, 1024. And then the height will stay the same because I'm not changing that. Uh, and then my resolution, make note of what that is. I tend to use small file sizes because they're faster to process in a podcast. So nothing to do there, just that we're checking the information. But we now will go up here and do File New. We'll call it Disney. Come down here and we'll make the width the 1024 that we just decided we needed. Remember the, the height was 768. We don't need to change that. We need to keep the resolution the same size. It's grayscale image, so it's going to uh, be a grayscale here. The bit depth is 8 of the working image. You want to make sure that's the same as well. Select OK. That gives us a new blank document. In order to be able to see all the documents that I want to use, in CS4 I need to go to this icon up here, float all the windows. Now I can see the document. By the way, you can see my cute little Teddy. He, we lost him last year. And we sure miss him, but okay, back to the podcast here. I am now going to get my move tool. The move tool is the one up at the top left-hand side here of your palette, a tool palette. Now, just a little uh, helpful hint. When you select this, go ahead and select this checkbox as well, which is your auto select. That allows you, when you pull images into another document, and there's multiple images, when you click on that image, it will automatically select that image. You will not have to go into your layers palette, click on the one you want to move, and come back. It makes it very easy. So we're simply going to grab this with our move tool and drag it into this uh, new document. And then I'm going to flip this to, uh, image horizontally so that I can mirror that. Just go to Image, Image Rotation, flip the canvas horizontally, and now drag that one into to the image as well. And at this point, I'll hit my F key to make it full screen. That way I can see. And now notice by selecting this auto select, what happens? I can move this one. Or if I needed to move this one, as soon as I click on it, it automatically selects it. And there you go. It's as simple as that. And we've created a new document. We drug both of those images in there and mirrored it. And we get a very cool mirrored image. Now, if you want to take it one step further, we can go again, check the size. And now we need to double the 768 if we're going to do it the other way, right? So we're going to need to make that 1536 if we want to mirror it one more time vertically instead of horizontally. So we'll do it one more time. I think it'll be a helpful way to, to show how this done. So we'll now create another new document. We'll call it Disney 2. How's that for creative? And then we are going to uh, make, I got to think through here, we're going to make the width is going to stay the same at 1024. But the height is going to change to 1536 because we're going to double this that way. We'll keep the resolution at 72. Grayscale bit depth of 8. We're good to go. Float the windows one more time. And now this time we're going to get our move tool and we're going to drag, whoops, you know what I need to do first? My bad. I need to uh, collapse the layers on this one. I was dragging the layers. So I just collapsed the layers real quickly. Put this in here. Go back to this. Go to image, rotation. And this time we're going to flip it vertically to see what that'll do. We'll bring this down here. I'll hit the F key again to make this one full screen, and there we go. And again, we can move these around by selecting them. And by the way, something to try is the opposite direction. You never know what's going to happen with these things, so just drag them to the opposite direction. You get a completely different look. Uh, so there you go. It's pretty simple. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, you'll be surprised at the images that work. You'll also be surprised at the images that, that don't work sometimes, and you just go, well, that's not right. <laughs> so hopefully that helps for today. We'll see you next time.